A lot of times acrylic artists want to be able to have the ability to blend a little bit more and slow down the drying rate of their acrylic colors. And there's no reason to have to have a whole new line of slow drying paints when Liquitex has a bunch of products, both mediums and additives, that will help you slow down the drying rate by as much as 40%. A lot of times acrylics start to skin over, they start to dry in about 10 to 20 minutes. So again, this will slow it down by about 40% and give you time to do those things that you'd like to do, that blending in and out and, and making changes. Now, the mediums we have over here, we've got a, a slow dry blending medium, which is very fluid. Put some of that out on the palette, and you can see how fluid that is. This has an acrylic resin in it. The mediums themselves, by nature of being mediums, have acrylic resins in them. That means you can mix them as much as you want into the paint, and it's going to be able to bind and hold the paint to your surface. Acrylic mediums and acrylic paint are actually very strong adhesives. And here's the slow dry blending gel. I'm going to put that out, and obviously you can see the difference of that. So when you talk about the fluid medium over here, great for fluid applications, obviously, fine detail. Really nice here to be able to use the gel when you want thicker applications, more impasto brush marks, a little bit more expressive. And I'm going to take a little bit of paint and mix it in here. All the mediums are going to add more gloss and more transparency to your paint. And as I said, you can add in as much as you want, but the more you add in, the more transparent it's going to get. And you can see if I add in a lot like I just did, it's going to lighten the color as well, but really makes it very nice, very juicy. And then we've got palette wetting spray as well. Now, I like this one. It's, it's unique. It's different. Palette wetting spray is basically an acrylic emulsion in a mist form. So one of the things I like to do with this is spritz a little bit on my palette first, usually, and then put my paint down well, sort of my dollops of paint down, and it's helping them stay moist from underneath. And then I'll also spritz on top as well, again, to delay that skinning over so they don't get dry while I'm going through the working process. And one of the things I would suggest you do with a palette wetting spray is when you're done with it, unscrew the cap, spritz out what's left in the, in the nozzle there, in the tube, and even run it under water a little bit because it's such a fine mist, it can tend to clog up the nozzle a little bit. And if that does happen, put it in some hot water and let that dissolve a little bit. And then we've got slow dry fluid retarder. Again, just like the slow dry fluid medium, it's very fluid. Again, great for detailed work, fluid applications. And the slow dry gel retarder, we'll take a palette knife here again because it's thicker. We'll get some of that out. Also great for those thick applications impasto brush marks. But the difference with these, as opposed to the mediums, is that the additives, these retarders don't contain an acrylic resin binder. So you don't want to add as much as you want into that. You only want to add up to 25%. Not having that binder means you could have adhesion problems down the road. And a lot of times artists will want to use the additives when they don't want to increase transparency to their colors. So know that if you want to slow down that drying rate and you want to blend and have all sorts of fun doing that and have a little longer open working time, there's mediums out there that can help you do that.